just showing you how I'm printing with ABS. Um, if you have an ANET printer, a lot of people will complain about how they can't get their printer to print in ABS and stuff like that. Um, with ABS because of warping and stuff. Well, one, you definitely need to not have a fan blowing on your prints like you do with PLA. And two, um, you have to have it in an enclosure. You see how I have a big box here. I built this all from scratch. Um, just went to Lil's, bought a bunch of these. They're kind of like two feet by two feet um, sheets of wood. And got some these door handle, uh, I mean door hinges I got from Walmart. They're like two bucks for them. And uh, so basically, and then I got like a little door handle thing right here that yeah, I could lift it up. But um, then just, you know, a bunch of screws and this plexiglass is, um, I got from my job, well, the job I used to work at and uh, they had a lot of it. They let me have it all for free. So I just took it all home and I've been recycling them, using them for other things. You can see that um, there's a little line in between here and here and that's because um, these are sheets, just regular, like, I'll say about six inches, six inch sheets. And, uh, I had to basically, I have this, uh, solvent called, uh, Weld On. It's a glue that glues acrylic together. And, um, I've been using those and gluing them together into one big sheet. So, it, it works for me. It's recycled. I don't have to go out and buy plexiglass or anything like that. And, um... Uh, you can see right here that my print has stopped, it finished. It looks really well. Um, I haven't had really, I mean I've had trouble with the motherboards and stuff like that, but as far as printing wise, I haven't really had a problem like that exactly. Um, I had to adjust my G code for my new uh, rip wrap motherboard. So this isn't the original ANET motherboard. You can see over there I got the, a different end stop right there. And um, so I'm just using the basic ramps 1.4 board. And uh, you can see I still have a LCD monitor display and all that stuff. So it, it all works great. You just have to go into the programming of all that. But even with that I was still printing. I haven't bought any PLA or any other filament. The only filament I use is ABS. I have... Um, white ABS filament, red, and then blacks over there. Now, I have my, I have each color has its own colored uh, filament filter on it to keep any uh, debris from the outside, like dust and stuff, getting into my extruder to keep it from clogging. And I just have this uh, extruder's, uh, my Bowden tube coming out of this hole right here and the hole goes down into if you can see that sorry the light's bright into that through that hole right there into I actually 3d printed me that mount you see that red mount over there on my um, stepper motor over there that stepper motor is my extruder I had I bought that um, I made it into a Bowden kit that uh, all those pieces of metal that's ma that made it into the extruder, I bought that for like 11 bucks off of eBay. So it didn't cost much, and they're all machined aluminum, so they worked out great. And I just 3D printed me that mount that actually goes over there. I designed that mount myself to actually clamp onto the side there, and it's been working great. And then out of the bottom it comes into the Bowden. Uh, that Bowden uh, tube and then goes down into my Bowden extruder right there the hot end so I mean other than that I haven't really I've done like upgrades here and there I mean obviously that's an upgrade but what I'm trying to say is you guys can print with ABS no problem as long as you keep the uh, temperature at its optimum height so like uh, if you you know you're gonna print with ABS you're gonna have to do I do 240 not 230 I know people have tried doing 230 and this and that do 240 degrees Celsius it will work 
you're not going to have a problem with it. It melts great. And I would tell you to keep your bed at around 100, and, uh, 100 degrees Celsius, between that or 105. I keep mine at 105 because I like to preheat it to keep it up there just in case the, the temperature does drop here and there like because I have an AC unit inside my inside here too as well not inside of here but inside the room that it's in and I want to make sure that the heating is still optimal even if it's inside this enclosed case and I have um, door latches over here that latch on to the side that keeps this door kind of closed this one ain't doing it doing a good job so I've been using kind of like this hammer to kind of keep it up against the wall there but this one does great it locks on just fine I don't have any problems in the future I would like to do a um, USB from there to like a wall mount one so I could just plug up to the side of the box over here instead of actually having the cord come all the way out to the front of the door and the same thing with my webcam I have a C 910 I think from Logitech and it does 1080p it does pretty well I actually can watch it on my computer with the lights off and um, as well as I have two different power supplies that's another thing the original one with the a net I had that hooked up to a MOSFET and that is only powering the heat bed that's it no other power that's the only thing is powering and I have this switch over here to switch on the heat bed and then you know that switch comes out over here goes down the long side of this wall all the way back to you know everything and then um, that power supply is heating is powering the lights in here the motherboard and the heater of the boating so that does enough already that's why I'm trying to take away power from this it heats this up faster anyways I mean I want to do a SSR solid state relay but I'm waiting on doing something else at the moment to you know do a solid state relay but anyway um yeah as far as I want to tell you guys you definitely can print with ABS it's not going to be a problem you just got to make sure that you set you, you have your heating set correctly I'm going to get this out here so you guys can see real fast, and then that'll be it for this video. Let's lift this up. Pull this forward. And then, you know, I'll pull this out. Right here, I'm using Raft and Kiera. You can do Brim if you want. I choose Raft because I'm, well, I'm going to show you why in a second if I can. I'm trying to hurry up. You see how easy that came off? And the reason why I do raft is, uh, if I could get this off of here. But yes, I'm sorry about the, the video cut out for a second. But um, basically, the brim actually just lets you peel it right off of here. I mean, not the, not the brim, but the raft. That's, that's the name of this. You could do raft or brim, but I just choose to do brim. I'm going to see if I could get this in a shot here. It's just hard to do. Sorry, it's taking so long. See how it just kind of just peels right off of there. See that? I can literally get it with one finger if I could just push down enough. It's being difficult, but literally you could just peel it right off with no problem. Sorry, I'm actually having a problem right now. There it goes. See? And look, the whole entire piece is like flat, you know, like you, this is, is perfect. And then this right here is pretty well flat too, so you don't have to worry about any mess ups. I mean, sure you can see some lines, but that's pretty much normal when it comes to printing. But that top piece is actually really flush, nice and, like, you can't really see any lines in here. Like, literally, it, it looks like a completely made part. I could barely see any lines inside of this. Now, the back part, yes, but that top view is perfect. So, I hope you guys liked the video, 
and just wanted to let you guys know, you know, you could definitely 3D print with the ANET with ABS. So, guys, just keep that in mind. You know, keep your stuff set right. Try to have it enclosed, and if you can't have it in an enclosure, you don't have the money to make an enclosure or whatever like that, then don't have any AC running inside where you're trying to heat your stuff up at, because it will cause warping. You don't want to warp your product. You see how easy that came off of? Off of there? That was awesome. That was good. Anyway, um, see? Super easy to get off. Perfect. And this is a servo uh, motor controller thing that I'm I was making. Well, I didn't make this, but I was I downloaded the the parts for it. It's to turn a servo into like a linear actuator type. Got a gear for the servo head, and then you know slide it up and down. But um, and the reason why I like this uh, raft so much is because in the nearby future I would like to build me a filament extruder that will recycle this and turn it back into regular filament wire like you know the 1.75 or the 0.3 you know millimeters I mean the 3 millimeter or the 1.75 millimeter one so like this right here is could be recycled and I will show if I start doing that I will show that inside of another video like when I start building something like that but first I'm going to be building some intense stuff over the next few weeks and you guys will see all that here on my channel so please like subscribe let me know what you think and this is ABS printing with the 8net A8 printer using a ramps motherboard but it still is the same thing it's just a different motherboard ramps is definitely better just to let you guys know because you could adjust your each stepper motor driver separately and there's a possibility to change the stepper motor drivers that you have from the 4988 I think is what it's called to the TMC2100 I think that's what that's called and it's better it's finer steps it's smoother and it doesn't sound as loud either and it's faster um, but anyways, you guys have a great day, and this is Legit Lee signing out.